Hello, and welcome back to the final IB Math speedrun of today. This is for, we're going to finish up chapter 3.5, and yeah, let's jump right in. So, we've already discussed in chapter 3.5 how to solve polynomial equations, and so the only thing left remaining is how to solve polynomial inequalities. And we would do that like the exact same way as the equations. Uh, the steps are almost similar. So first, you want to factorize your polynomial into its factors. And then you want to construct a sign table. So for example, for this cu uh, cubic equation, you need to know um, what's going, you need to know what sign x is when x is less than a, when um, a is less than x, oh, a is less than x is less than b, when b is less than x is less than c, and when c is less than x. And normally, two of these will be above zero and two of these will be below zero, unless you have some very weird equation. Or, of course, yeah, unless you have some very weird equation. So yeah, that's one method, but another very important method you need to know is literally how to graph the polynomial. So what you need is a graphical calculator, and if you don't have one, you can go online to a site like Desmos, or it allows you to graph uh, like quadratic equations and other graphs, and it allows you to see an output. That's very important. But let's go into jump. Let's go into jump some questions. Let's jump into go to some questions right now. So first, we need to solve the following inequalities by the method of your choice. And the first one they give us is a rather familiar one if you've watched my previous speedrun. Um, it's x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 is less than 0, which we know factors into x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 1 is less than 0. And so the thing about this is I kind of know what the graph looks like here. Since we have three roots, well, it will look something like this. And so because the x cubed term is positive, it means that it will be in this shape, starting from the bottom and going up. So what we know from this then is that the, for the values where it's less than zero, it will be less than the first root or between the second and the third roots. These are the areas for which the graph is below zero. And so this is, um, of course, the roots being, oh, well, the roots being x minus 2, x equals negative 2, negative 1, or 2. So therefore, if x is less than negative 2, or if x um, negative 1 is less than x is less than 2, then this um, inequality will be satisfied. So that's our answer. So the next question also should be very familiar. x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 2 is greater as less than or equal to zero um, and we know this factors into x minus 2 times x squared minus x plus 1 and so this is less than or equal to zero so the thing about this graph is it only has one root so if a graph only has one root then all of the points below the root uh, should well and of course the coefficient of the first term is positive all of the points below the root should be below zero, and all of the points above the root should be above zero. Uh, wrong way around. So therefore, if we need to, if the inequality is so, such that it is less than or equal to zero, then x should be simply less than or equal to two, and that is it. Since this is no roots, we don't need to consider it. Okay, on to the next one. And so um, we have 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x plus 2 is greater than 0. Mm. And if you were in a non-calculator exam, I would suggest they just, you know, go through each factor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. But since... We have a calculator. I would also want to teach you how to do it using a calculator. And so, how would we do that? Well, let's plug this equation into the calculator. So we have three x cubed um, plus four x squared plus seven x plus two. And so we can see 
that this equation has one root at x equals negative one third. Since we need to find um, values for which the y value is greater than zero, and the y value we can see is greater than zero for all points greater than negative one third, then we can simply say x is greater than negative one third, and that is our answer. Okay, uh, similarly for the next question, we have x to the four plus x cubed minus three x squared minus x plus two is um, greater or equal to zero. So I actually can't see the symbols missing on the page. So I'm gonna assume that's greater or equal to. And again, let's plug this into a graph and see what we get. x to the four plus x cubed minus three x squared minus x plus two. And as you can see, we have three roots, we have four roots with one repeated root. And so we're looking for values for which it's greater or equal to zero. So we can see clearly if it's great, if it's less than, if x is less than negative two or between negative one and one, this will be greater or equal to zero. Or of course, actually, no, it's just less than negative two or greater than negative one since this is still equal to zero. So we simply have x is less than or equal to negative two or x is greater or equal to negative one. That will be our answer. Okay, moving on to the next question. We need to use simple polynomial graphs to find the solutions of these inequalities. And the first one is x cubed plus x plus two is greater or equal to zero. Um, and we can fa uh, not factorize it. We can punch this into a graph. x cubed plus x plus two is greater than zero. Oh, well, let's not do that. Anyways, we see that there is one root at negative one, zero. So, and all, for all values of x higher than that, it's greater than zero. For all values of x lower than that, it's less than zero. Since we need to have values for it, which is greater to zero than zero, we can simply say x is greater than negative one. And that is our answer. Finally, we have the equation x to the four plus x squared minus two is less than or equal to zero. And honestly, if we wanted to, we could factorize this but um, I'm not going to, I'm going to graph it. So this would be x to the four plus x squared um, minus two is um, less than or equal to zero. As we can see, the two roots are negative one and one. And so this is simply negative one is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to one, pretty simple. Finally, we have the question and we need to solve the following inequality. x to the 13 plus 4 is less than 3x to the 8 plus 5x. And so there are two ways to do this. First, the first way to do it is to graph both sides. So we have to graph x to the 13 plus 4. And we also need to graph 3x to the 8 plus 5x. And we need to find for which 3x to the 8 plus 5x is greater. And it's greater when the y value is above the x value. So, well, where would we find these points? Well, the y value is greater below this intersection. So when x is less than negative 1.095, or I think I saw another one. Yeah, it's up here. So there are two more points where they inter do they intersect. So yeah, so they intersect here at x equals 27.05, sorry, is at x equals 1.273 and here at 0 0.747. So between those two points, 0 0.747 and um, where is it? 1.273, well, x, the y value would be positive and so this will be greater than this. So those are our two answers, but let me just quickly show you the next way. And the next way is to move all of these terms to this side of the equation. So we have x to the 13 minus 3x to the 8 minus 5x plus 4 is, well, um, greater, less than or equal to 0. So we just find all points where it's less than or equal to 0. And it gives the same answers that when x is less then negative 1.095 or between 0 0.747 and 1.273, this inequality will be true. So these are our answers. So yeah, 
That was all for today's speed run. I hope you're now confident in solving polynomial equations and inequalities, and I hope to see you in the next speed run. See you then.